the outside of the Russian Orthodox Church was a sight to behold. The white stone structure stood tall and proud against the cold winter landscape. The snow-covered trees surrounding the church seemed to be standing at attention, as if they too were paying their respects to the holy sanctuary. The sun was shining down on the snow-covered landscape, casting a brilliant glow on everything in sight. The sky was a deep blue, with fluffy white clouds lazily drifting by. The trees were adorned with a thick blanket of snow, each branch and twig outlined in delicate white. The snow had a soft and fluffy appearance, as if it had been freshly fallen from the sky. The branches of the trees were bent under the weight of the snow, as if they were bowing in reverence to the church. As I approached the church, I could feel the chill of the winter air biting at my cheeks. The snow crunched under my feet, and I could hear the sound of my breath as it turned to mist in the cold air. The church was surrounded by a high fence, and the gates were closed. I could see the intricate details of the ironwork on the gates, each one a work of art in its own right. The gates were adorned with crosses and other religious symbols, and they seemed to be beckoning me to enter. As I walked up to the gates, I noticed that the snow had been cleared from the path leading to the church. The path was lined with lanterns, and the light they cast on the snow was a warm and inviting sight. I could see the candlelight flickering through the windows of the church, and I knew that there was a service taking place inside. I pushed open the gates and walked down the path towards the church. The snow crunched under my feet, and I could feel the cold air biting at my cheeks. The church seemed to be calling out to me, and I knew that I had to go inside. As I walked through the door, I was greeted by the warm and inviting sight of the sanctuary. The walls were adorned with icons and other religious art, and the candles were burning brightly. The smell of incense filled the air, and I could hear the sound of the choir singing hymns. I walked down the aisle towards the altar, and I could feel the weight of history and tradition surrounding me. The church was built in the traditional Russian Orthodox style, and it was a beautiful sight to behold. The walls were adorned with frescoes, and the icons were painted with great care and attention to detail. The altar was adorned with gold and silver, and the candles were burning brightly. As I stood there, surrounded by the beauty of the church and the winter landscape outside, I felt a sense of peace and serenity wash over me. The world outside seemed to fade away, and I was lost in the beauty of the moment. I knew that I would always remember this moment, and that it would stay with me forever. The service ended and the congregation began to leave. I lingered for a moment longer, taking in the beauty of the church and the winter landscape outside. I knew that I would be back, and that this would always be a special place for me. As I left the church, I could feel the chill of the winter air biting at my cheeks. The snow crunched under my feet, and I could hear the sound of my breath as it turned to mist in the cold air. The trees were still covered in snow, and the sky was still a deep blue. The world outside seemed to be holding its breath, as if waiting for something to happen.